hi in today's video we will be looking into how you can create GUI desktop using your Ubuntu server VPS so first thing first log into your VPS provider in my case I'm gonna use linode.com and I'm gonna create one VPS server here so to create the VPS server in Linode simply click on create Linode and then select the details for example region I want to select London so London and then from here select the plan you want to choose I would recommend go for at least 4 GB of RAM so for this example I'm gonna select 8 GB of RAM and then if you will scroll down you will be able to see it is asking for root password so let's enter the root password and then scroll down and select private IP and create the Linode. <clears throat> Here uh, our VPS server is getting created. We need to wait for two to three minutes. So server status is right now provisioning and this is the IP address of the server and this is the summary of the server we have selected. 8 GB of RAM, 4 CPU cores, 160 GB of storage. So meanwhile, the provisioning is happening. Uh, let's click on the SSH command and open the terminal. Now we can see the server status is running. So let's paste the command we have copied. For SSH. Yes, and enter the root password. Now we are logged in into the VPS server. The first thing first will be to update and upgrade the packages. So for this you can do, let me increase the size. For this, you can do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade with minus y as yes flag. Let's wait for two to three minutes for getting this completed. So package update and upgrade is done. Now let's install default Ubuntu desktop. So the second command we have used is sudo apt install ubuntu-desktop. Let's wait for the installation to be completed. It will take around two to five minutes. So Ubuntu desktop installation is completed. Let's recap what we have done so far. So the first command we ran is the update and upgrade. sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade with y flag. And the second command we have used is to install the Ubuntu desktop with sudo apt install you Ubuntu hyphen desktop with y flag. And installation is done and now we need to access the Ubuntu desktop for this we can use the VNC server or RDP so I will go with the RDP and for RDP you can use if you are using Windows you can use the default remote desktop or you can download the if you are using Windows or using Mac you can download the Windows app new Windows app or remote desktop application. So to install the 
RDP for remote access, we need to install one package which is XRDP. So the command will be sudo apt installed XRDP with Y flag. XRDP is now installed. Now let's enable this by using sudo systemctl enable xrdp and now this is enabled let's start this so to start the xrdp we will be using sudo systemctl start xrdp and now this is done but to access the rdp server we need to enable the port it depends on your vps provider as well but you can simply use this command sudo ufw uncomplicated firewall allow 3389 so 3389 is our port which is we are going to allow from anywhere using the uncomplicated firewall so hit enter and then you can check the status by sudo ufw status and it says inactive if it is saying you if it is showing you inactive status please run one command which is sudo ufw enable enter and then say yes so now it says firewall is active and enabled on system startup and now if we will check the status again this time it is going to show you the status is active so here we can see the status is active as well as it is showing you the details like the port 3389 is allowed from anywhere so now let's go to the Windows app or remote desktop app and click on plus icon and click on add PC just copy the IP address of the VPS and paste it here you can change couple of settings but for the simplicity of the video Let's go with the default. Just double click and click on connect. And now enter the username as root and the root password. Click on continue. And here you can see it is asking for the language. Click on continue, continue and start using Ubuntu. For the first time a startup, it may take little longer as compared to the normal startup. So here you can see the power option is there. And here you can see menu option is there. And from here we can access apps and you can see it is very fast and you can select the options you can change the setting whatever you want to perform but for the simplicity of the video I'm going to show you the browser and in the browser we are going to open what is my ip.com and uh, also we are going to check the internet speed of this RDP so now we can see the Firefox browser is open simply open the google.com just to check if the internet connection is working fine it is and now we will be opening what is my ip what is my ip.com enter so here we can see the ip address is the vps ip address and the location is the vps location we have selected and now let's go to fast.com hit enter and see the internet speed we can see is really very awesome because here we can see we are getting around 4 gbps or 5 gbps speed which is very very high so that's pretty much 
it about this video thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to this channel